Right now at 10, we have new information and this new video showing what happened just before a group of suspected car burglars shot a man who confronted them. The video captures the suspects walking early yesterday morning on Hollow Glen Drive in the Doctors Inlet Reserve subdivision of Middleburg. Clay County investigators arrested three suspects, all of them 18 years old. Two live in Jacksonville, one in Fleming Island. News for Jacks reporter Eric Oppen joining us live on Hollow Glen Drive with the video and the new information about the shooting. Eric. Yes, tonight we have learned, Kent, that the gun that was used to shoot the victim was reported stolen from a home in Orange Park. We're also learning tonight how deputies managed to track down those suspects and take them into custody. Moments before 4 a.m. Sunday, home surveillance video captures three of the five suspects walking through Doctors Inlet Reserve subdivision. One is by himself while the other two are walking in the opposite direction. It's around this time that investigators say multiple vehicles along Hollow Glen Drive were being broken into. Detectives say the crime spree was interrupted when 30-year-old Sonny LaFleur confronted the trio along with two more unidentified suspects. I, I applaud him for doing that because I'd do the same thing. He chased him quite a ways. It was in this general area where neighbors say the victim was shot. One neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says he heard the gunshot. Other neighbors say they didn't hear a thing. LaFleur's wife was still in bed thinking her husband had headed off to work. I text him. Um, I was like, hey, babe, there's a lot of cops out here. Um, not knowing it was him. Not knowing that he's the one that got shot. How is he doing right now? Um, right now he's in stable conditions. Um, he can talk. Um, he's just in a lot of pain right now. Surveillance video captures multiple deputies racing to the scene. And I saw police everywhere. This has never happened in this neighborhood. Deputies identified Raymond Rivera as the shooter. They also say the gun he used was reported stolen back in February. According to investigators, Rivera and Friesen were in a getaway car when Rivera fired a shot into LaFleur's upper torso. Video from this neighborhood camera may have helped deputies identify the car because hours later, Rivera and Friesen were spotted by Jacksonville police on 103rd Street. Investigators say they were in a vehicle matching the description of the getaway car. Both were detained by Jacksonville officers until Clay County deputies arrived to make the arrest. Four hours after they were captured, deputies showed up at Stevens Fleming Island home where they took him into custody. Rivera was charged with attempted murder. Friesen was charged with accessory. Both were denied bond in court Monday morning. Stevens was charged with armed burglary and his bond was set at $100,000. Now, many of the neighbors here have started a GoFundMe page for the victim and his family. Now, I did speak, to, as you saw, uh, to his wife, and this is what the victim's wife tells me. She says that her husband was shot right up in here in the upper uh, torso area, in the ribcage area, where that bullet, for some reason, got lodged right here in his shoulder, and that bullet remains there tonight as we speak. Coming up at 11, you're going to hear more from the victim's wife, and she's going to explain what her husband told her about what he saw when he walked out the door and confronted those alleged burglars right here in this driveway. Reporting live in Middleburg, Eric Oppen, Channel 4, The Local Station.